Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company. It is great to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. We've got a calm day upon us today, but today folks, we are fishing the salt water of Buzzards Bay in Massachusetts. And we're gonna be running, we're gonna do a one-two punch today, folks. We're gonna run the Sting Nose Peanut Bunker. Uh, I'm gonna open up with a silver. I th uh, we'll see what, I'm here with Claudia, or with, uh, Phil and Antonio and we'll see what they're going to open up with and I also brought some eye drops with me different colors chartreuse pink silver and smoked but what we're going to do folks I'm going to tip these you don't have to tip the, the bunkers they work great just as they are but these eye drops will add a little bit of scent they'll change the fall a little bit and be an extra attractor. So we're gonna give it the one-two punch today because it's rather calm and these fish might be a little lethargic. So we're gonna see if we can entice the bite just a little bit. And that's how you put it on. You put it on, see there, through the plastic part, not through the eye part. And that's it. And try to leave a little bit of hook gap. And that's all you gotta do, folks, right there. Okay, so we use this fresh water, we use it salt water they work very very well okay so the technique because there is no drift if there was a drift we could drop it straight down and just fish vertically but there is no drift so or very little drift so we're going to do the cast and bounce back approach let it hit the bottom and just bounce it back and we're going to work this entire area so i'm running a one i've got a one piece seven foot medium power rod um, I'm running 30 pound Thunder Braid and I've got a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. So that's my, that's the rig that I'm r using today. Uh, how about you, Phil? What are you running now? You've got... I've got the one ounce uh, peanut bunker on gold. One ounce gold. And I tipped it with the hot pink eye drop. Okay, so you went with the hot pink. That's good. Yeah. Oh, there's a hit there. You went with hot chartreuse pink. Chartreuse you got? I went with the chartreuse. I also went with the one ounce sting nose peanut bunker as well because it's so calm but I did bring one and a half two and three and then Antonio's working the front of the boat and you look like you got a gold peanut sting nose peanut bunker oh I put one and a half ounce on you can cast a little further okay you got one and a half ounce so you went yeah. a little heavier and okay, I'm also I got tipping the first sea bass of the day oh, wow. and it's it's not a big one you're on Phil yep Okay, so we trigger, we're starting to trigger some bites already, folks. You can small. see there, right? You got a small one too? I got a small one too. So we might have to weed through these small ones to find the bigger ones. We know there are bigger ones here, that's for sure. So I'll do another cast and bounce back approach. But that's going to be the technique today, folks. We'll try to keep our hands clean. I brought a towel. Okay. And uh, like I say, we're going to have to entice the bite, and it looks like we might have to weed through some of these smaller fish to get to the bigger ones. But it's all fishing, and it's all fun, and that's what it's all about. So, oh, I just had another hit. It's not necessarily about catching a lot of fish or bigger fish. Oh, the main thing is just being out here and enjoying the outdoors and the camaraderie that you're fishing with your friends and or family and that's that's basically what it's all about i missed two fish there don't know how i missed them but i did but that means they're here and they're on the bite something small again you got another small one phil uh, maybe slightly bigger maybe not <laughs> <laughs> well i'm thinking that's why i missed those two they, they were probably just small fish they might have even been uh, oh, it's a, it's porgy. A rock and robin. Oh, you're rock sea robin. This morning. Look at that, a fish with wings. Yeah, he liked that hot pink, did he? The hot yeah. pink eye drop. Now you got to be careful. Their head, they got a lot of spikes. Oh yeah, I'm not going to handle him with my hands. Yeah, it's a good idea. Better to be safe. Fish with wings. I hear him grunting? That's their safety mechanism, one of them anyway. You should have laid off the Red Bull. Wouldn't have thrown wings. There you go. Okay, well. We're off to at least, we're at least off to somewhat of a start today, folks. Stay tuned, we're hoping to get into some nicer fish. So this one hit. 
relatively close to the boat. It's fighting like a porgy, actually. It is a porgy. So, <laughs> also known as scup. They're out here too. Buzzard's Bay has got a lot of porgies. And look at that, he nailed that one ounce. He nailed that one ounce sting nose. Just nailed it. Antonio, you're on up there? A little bigger bass, but not a, not a keeper, but nice fish. They're getting bigger, are they? They are. This porgy's probably a keeper, but when you get a little bit bigger, they got to be ten and a half inch to keep. Oh, this is a nice porgy. You got a porgy as well. Yeah. So that's two porgies, so maybe we moved into a little school of porgies, eh? Yeah. That's a nicer one. That, this that's one might measure. A, <laughs> probably a good 11 inch. Mine was about 10 and a half. This I guy's 12. How big? 12. 12. That's a dandy. Huh. Throw them in the box. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Oh, oh, that feels better. That feels like a bigger fish. This might be a nicer sea bass, folks, right here. This might be a nicer sea bass. Feels heavier, watch it be a little porgy. <laughs> oh man. You're on, we got a double going here, folks. Let's see what this, where's the net? I might need the net. You need the net? I think I need the net. Uh, they're back, back there with you. No, it's just a porgy. I thought it was a bigger sea bass, but. Oh, he's hooked just under the mouth, that's why. The exact same. Did you? Yeah. I'm gonna need needle nose to get him out. There's one evil. Feels like a scup. Another scup, a porgy? Yeah. Well, we just made a little move. We were getting all kinds of porgy back there in 28 feet. Now we're in 23 feet and we're getting porgy to get. Jeez, it's a good one too. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. Yeah. Another keeper. Yeah. Nice. They love those eye drops. And these eye drops, folks, just so you know, they do come in different sizes. We got the larger size that we're running in salt water, but fresh water we run the we run them all actually. Yeah, that's a nice one. You want to measure them just to make sure? What do we got? 11 and a half. 11 and a half, definite gotta keeper. Be. They gotta be 10 and a half. So, that's nice. Yeah. An inch over, perfect. Okay. Well, we got some porgy for dinner. Okay, this feels a little bit heavier. Mine feels oh, a little bit I don't, lighter. I don't we got think, a triple going. I don't Antonio's think this is on a, the front, I'm on the back, and you're wow. on the side. I don't think this is a scup though, this one. I got a porgy, yeah. Oh, do you? Porgy as well. You got a porgy, Antonio? I got a small one. This, Look at this small porgy. Oh, it's a, it's a sea bass. Sea bass? Yeah, you nice need the net? Too. Sure. It looks like it's throw my back. Keeper. Hang on. I'm with the net. I get him. I'll get him. Oh, that's a good one, Phil. Nice. Okay. Now you're talking. That's what we're after right there, folks. I guess that's... if you weed through the scope, you get eventually. Well, yeah. Sea bass. You got the pink eye drop on too, right? Pink eye. Yeah. Good one. And the gold. You got the gold uh, sting nose on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, that's good. I think he's going to measure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got to be 16 and a half. That's easily. He's over 17. He's probably pushing 18. 18 and a half, there you go. Good guess. Okay, we're on the board with a nice a nice sea bass. Lots of porgy. The scuff light is definitely on. In the box? In the box. In the box. That felt like a better hook set. Straight down, boys. Straight down. Straight down. I just dropped it. <laughs> 
better hook set. Yeah, he just nailed it. Oh, looks like uh. I think. Well, last time I thought I had a sea bass on, I had a big scup. <laughs> this time, though, I'm, it feels heavier, so. He's fighting like a, a sea bass. He is fighting like a sea bass, eh? They don't jump, folks. They just kind of dog it. They just stay down there. Oh, it's a good sea bass. Yeah, sure. That's a keeper. Nice sea bass. So what I did, I put the char I took the chartreuse eye drop off and I off and I put the silver one on. Nice. Yeah. Oh, look at Antonio sea bass. Let's do yours compared to mine. <laughs> For once, Antonio, I got you beat. It doesn't happen often, so I'll enjoy the moment. You beat me barely. It's a barely beat. There we go, folks. I go scup. <laughs> That's a dip. All, both in the same zone. What do you got, a scup on? I think so, yeah. Yeah, just a little guy. Well, they're, in, they're mixed in here, right? Looks like I say, we got to weed through things to get to what we want we're gonna have to weed through but that's that's a nice sea bass yeah entice the bite Antonio entice the bite he is 18 and a bit 18 and a bit about the same as the one you got Phil oh yeah but he came out of 25 feet of water okay and unfortunately he took my eye drop, but fortunately, I got more. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick with the silver. I've... So we're using three different colors, Phil. You got the hot pink, Antonio, you got the chartreuse. So that's another reason why I wanted to go with a different color. Okay, well that was a nice straight down drop, but this time I'll cast oh. it. What do you, oh, Antonio, he followed it right to the boat. Followed it? I thought you said fast don't jump. <laughs> They do jump after bait. Did they? Did it ever? Holy cow. I saw him. He came right out of the water. He almost jumped into the boat. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> it wasn't a huge one, though. No, no. But it was not a keeper. No. The exciting, though, to see him come up and follow that lure and jump right out of the water after it. That was neat. Usually where there's one, there's more. And after I saw that one jump out of the water I did a little cast and we triggered a bite folks it doesn't feel as big as that last one but he's fighting like a sea bass again oh, what do you got Phil a scup yeah I think I got another sea bass 11 inch scup actually he might not might not be too bad deceiving here he's staying down there this is a medium he medium heavy power rod so it's got a lot of backbone a lot of backbone to it for hook setting and I really like a seven foot seven foot rod for jigging I, I really do and the one piece for me is a necessity unless you unless you can't for travel purposes but one piece rods are more sensitive they're stronger they're just a nicer fishing rod got under you I, I don't know <laughs> it might even be a tatog oh Antonio you're rocking over there eh <laughs> you're rocking rocking away <laughs> I think I got a scup on you got a scup yeah oh I got it I got a tog I do got a tog I, I got my daily tog you want to net him Phil also known as the tog. Just on the nose there. Ready? In the bag. Nice. Also known as blackfish. They are black, that's right. Blackfish, tog, to tog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, he's just, just on the side of the boat. Okay. That's why he was staying down there and fighting a little stronger. Where are those needle nose? Where are the needle nose? What are they gotta be 16 oh, right or here. 16 and a half? Uh, 16 inch to keep. 
There we go. Let's take a look at this. Right there, folks, that's called a tatag, or as Antonio said, also known as blackfish. And they are fantastic, fantastic eating and strong fighters, as you can see. And he is, he is 16 inches right on. So, you know what that means? Even though 16 is the limit, I'm gonna release them because, you know, sometimes scales might be off a quarter inch here or there. But that's a beautiful, beautiful fish right there, folks. Healthy, beautiful fish. Okay, see you later, Tatag. Okay, so we're getting a variety of fish today, folks. Sea robins, we're getting porgy, also known as scup. We're getting sea bass, and now we're getting Tatag. And Antonio, what are you getting? Flounder? Oop. We'll see if I can rack up the species list. <laughs> I doubt it. Sea bass. Small one. Okay. The hot pink is struck again. Is that, oh. oh, you lost them. Bad. I got something. This feels like a porgy though. That could have been a, oh, who knows. <laughs> I think I just got another porgy, but. Porgy, scup, same thing. This is a small one. So because it's small, we'll call it a scup. Antonio. <laughs> Back on again. Back on? Yeah, only this one doesn't feel as heavy, unfortunately. Well, we might be into a little flurry of scups here. Oh, nice a, one. Oh, oh geez. That was, a, oh, that was a keeper one, too, I think. Was it another uh, another scup? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Well, the only reason we're moving, folks, is because there's a little bit of tide. Otherwise, there's zero wind right now. Hopefully the wind will pick up at some point. Oh, oh, I just missed one. Because I do like to move a little bit. I like to, to oh, I just missed another one. I like to drift around. He's back. Yep. He's back and he nailed it. Just nailed it. Oh, they typically hit it on the fall. You're on too, Phil? Yeah. We're in 25 feet of water, folks, and there's activity. There is activity. What do I got? I catch these all day. I love scuff. Oh, scuff! Yeah, they're they're great. Fun to catch. They're good eating. Oh, I got a. I just got a. I got a scuff too. Oh, I see. He's hooked just hooked on the fin. That's why. Can't seem to get a keeper. <laughs> you getting all the small ones? There? Yeah, and I have a bigger sting nose than you guys, trying to attract a bigger fish. But you got a one and a half ounce. Yeah. And we got Phil and I are running the one ounce. Actually, you could probably get away with three quarter ounce today. Not probably. You definitely could. And when it comes to size selection, folks, you should always look at the species you're targeting. I mean, you don't want a 1 8 ounce sting nose when you're fishing for sea bass, let's just say. So the first thing you do is take a look at the species and then take the size accordingly. But the next thing you have to do is the conditions. So because it's calm, we can get away with lighter. And because we're not, we don't have a big drift or a fast drift. So if we were fishing strong current or we had a strong drift, we may have to go a little bit heavier, but they would still be okay for the species we're after. So that's basically, you know, what you need to do to decide. So always have a variety of sizes with you, and that way you can uh, determine which size is best. Okay, I'm gonna do another cast. What you got, Phil? Another scup. Yeah, I think I got one too. He just, just as I figured I was gonna take another cast, whack. Eleven inch. That happens a lot too. You say, okay, I'm gonna bring it in. So we must be into a little, a little zone of, of scups right now. Okay. This one eh, looks a little small. We'll throw him back. I mean, he's probably a borderline keeper. But it's not as if we're not catching any scups today. You're actually you're allowed 
very generous limits here in Massachusetts. You're allowed 30 scup per person. So that's pretty generous. Okay, whereas the sea bass, you're only allowed four. This year, anyhow, the rules change every year. And in fact, you should always, always check the regulations, folks, because in fact, uh, they make changes sometimes at the last minute. Okay, let's see if we could trigger another hit. Yep. <laughs> Just like that? Like that, yeah. Another porgy? Feels pretty scuppish. Okay. Fun to catch. Yeah, you oh, know what I'm... just came off. Did he? Okay. Yeah. You know what I like to do? I'm going to bump us up. I want to try... I'm going to bump us up just a little bit. I know there's 30 feet of water close by. So maybe we'll go up and try 30 feet and see if... Uh, see what's holding in that area. Although this feels like a sea bass right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, that's good. Same thing. Every time you think about leaving or <laughs> bringing your line in, you get a hit. Oh my goodness. Oh man, folks, I tell you. Yeah, it's a decent sea bass. You nailed it. Just nailed it. Okay. Finally. Oh, Antonio, you're on too? Yeah. My turn to catch a porgy. Well, at least you're not catching small sea bass. <laughs> True. At least I'm catching. That's all that matters, right? Well, I said it earlier, right? It's not about necessarily the size or even catching for that matter. It's just fun being out here and being on the water. <laughs> I just said we're going to move. And every time I say that, oh, Antonio just said the hook. Uh, I got a decent bass. Antonio, you're on, eh? I think we're... I'm on too. We got a triple. We got a triple going. Maybe that's the key. Threaten to make a move and then you get into the fish. Threaten to make a move? Yeah. Is that your tip of the day? That's my tip of the day. Threaten to make a move. Okay, mine goes back in. Oh, yours is a little bit bigger than mine. Antonio, I think you got it. You got a good one. I do. It's a keeper. It's a big one. Big male. They have nice colors, eh? Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, what a tank. Good fish. Threaten to leave. Nice to have another big as yours. Oh no, yours is bigger than that. That's nice too. Yours is nice too. It's a little bit smaller. I don't think he's gonna measure though. Not gonna measure? Little, no. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, 17. Oh geez, 17 and a half. 17 and a half, that's a good one. Okay. Mine was like small. Antonio, what's yours like? This guy's over 18 for sure. I gotta measure him still, but yeah. Good one. So I guess that's the key, folks. Nice one, Antonio. That's Nail. the key to fishing right there. Just threaten to leave the spot you're at. <laughs> and next thing you know, you'll get into a flurry of fish. But you know what? We're just having fun out here today. And like I said, folks, nice one, that's what it's all about. Fishing is all about having fun, spending time on the water, and catching fish. Always, always a bonus. But you know what, folks? Wherever you're tuning in from, if you've never tried saltwater fishing, by all means, give it a try. It really is a lot of fun. And you can have a, a, a good time on the water, just like we are. So, folks, until next time, thanks for tuning in. Good luck. Good fishing.